Niggas need to see this shit. Right now. Yeah, yep. And um, yeah, so I, I just was all about making content and all about interacting with my fans. And I seen the value in that shit really, really early before the label seen it and before it became mandatory, you know, for, for an artist to do. Mandatory, you know, for, for an artist to do. Hello? Yo, man, we gotta go. Go where? Just get up, man. It's time to go. We gotta go. All right, man. Mandatory, you know, for, for an artist to do. Now, 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 answer this. Do this sound like a person who is enthusiastic about getting up and going somewhere? Or does this sound like a person who is taking orders? Somebody let me the fuck know. Niggas need to see this shit. Come on, man, get up. I'm up, man, I'm up. Niggas need to see this shit. And it kind of just showed me how, like, being your own boss is. Now, when you get put in a position to where somebody barking orders at you, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you're gonna know how it feels or you're gonna have an idea of what it's like to be your own boss because you taking down notes. Every time he bark at you, you writing that shit down in the back of your mind. You know what I'm saying? Every time somebody told you to do something, woke you up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 5 a.m., like I told y'all. Yo, I'm up, man. I'm up, I'm up. A lot of these celebrities be forced to do videos at three and four and five and six a.m. Y'all be wondering why they on live. Like, come on now, that don't nobody be on live that much to the point where you just on live three, four, five o'clock in the a.m. after getting off of a tour. To, like, come on now, you being forced to do a lot of these things. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming down right now. I mean, it was time to, uh, you know, sign the deal. I mean, it was time to, uh, you know, sign the deal. It's hard for them to, you know, dictate how they gonna use you. Right. Use you. As in not a partnership. As in you are just, you know what I'm saying? You gonna owe them money no matter what you do. That's what it sound like. I'm not saying that that's true, but that's what it sound like. Because you using people, dog. Come on now. But even when I try to come to the label, I said, bro, I got 11 million views on the video. The artist you just signed barely got 600,000. What's the difference? I beat the, the number game. Yeah, if you'd had 20, you know, maybe we, we could have had a conversation. Yeah. I said, so it's not about talent anymore. Nah, that's what I was saying about the perception. Yeah. I said, so it's not about talent anymore. Nah, that's what I was saying about the perception. Yeah. <laughs> when, did you, when did you realize, like, oh shit, it's happening. My life is about to change. Um, when I went to jail. Oh, listen, y'all gotta understand when somebody is glorifying something, y'all gotta understand the definition. Now, in no way am I accusing him of anything. But what I am saying is you need to pay attention when somebody is glorifying something. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of stories stem from, oh, I went to jail and I came back and I got on. That's the same story we did heard 54,000 times. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, at some point, you have to draw inspiration from something other than fucking jail, bro. Okay. Yeah, I got locked up in North Carolina. And I thought we were gonna be in jail for a minute. Like, they have brought us the, like, Clothes for the week, toothbrush, like. Oh yeah, so you were like, get comfortable. Hey, like, y'all in? Yeah, yup. You changed that, my boy. Yeah, yup. And um. That's when it feel like jail. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. When you ain't got your clothes yeah. on no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Africa, slides. Yeah. yeah. They gave you like, yeah, yeah. I done been to jail in North Carolina. Yeah. I know the slides they gave. Now look at all the other n****s up in the comments. Like, yeah, I want to go to jail too. I'm gonna come out and be like, where's Khalifa? And it's like. <laughs> I'm not saying that he is promoting this at all, y'all. Guys, this is not what the I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But what I am saying is pay attention to when people glorify something, you feel me? Because what you're doing right now is not enough to cover some of them tracks, fam. But let's keep it going. Look at how everybody is cool, laughing, and smiling. 
You know, I know how he get down in jail. You know, I didn't been there. You know, um, that's when it feel like jail. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. When you ain't got your clothes yeah. on no more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Them African slides. Uh, yeah. Them African yeah. African yeah. African yeah. African yeah. I you like, like, them I done been to jail. Don't feel yeah. like, I know the slides they gave. I, 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 everybody is. Ha! <laughs> Y'all need to watch when specific individuals glorify specific things. Now, in no way. Am I saying that these individuals are out here, you know, for jail? I'm not saying that. They probably do not like jail. But right now, dog, it's what y'all, hey. The internet is powerful. It's fucked up. So if somebody <laughs> sees, if somebody <laughs> sees somebody getting a reaction you know from what they say about you, then they'll copy that. And then now you got a bunch of niggas talking about you yeah. just because somebody else got popular. And that's not cool, bro. Like that's that's lame. So my thing is this: it sounds like you feel like because celebrities are losing power, which they are, you know. Because you feel like celebrities are losing power, uh, and the average Joe can get on. Now you mad because they got a voice and they got some because they can voice their opinion. I'm not understanding. If somebody want to say something about somebody else, and you you know you living in an a entirely different reality, you know what I'm saying? Who really cares, dog? You know what I'm saying? Because what you about to say next is about the. Watch this, y'all. While I'm letting you know that I'm frustrated, believe that I'm gonna spin it into something and, I'm, and you're gonna keep seeing me as well. So like, I don't really let that shit get to me. I don't let it bother me because anybody who knows me personally knows that I can take a joke. I got a great sense of humor. If I'm able to like defend myself and go back, you know what I mean? But if it's like one-sided, then you're gonna get a certain reaction. It just is what it is. What do you mean if you able to defend yourself and go back, right? <clears throat> if I'm able to like defend myself and go back, you know what I mean? But if it's like one-sided. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's only one-sided when somebody bringing up a mother in fact. Now, as y'all recall, right? Wiz Khalifa came on my page like a year or so ago, right? And, you know, whatever but with that being said because it was a well-known fact you could not argue what i was talking about you feel what i'm saying and this is what he's referring to as one-sided you know what i'm saying because when you pay attention you know what i'm saying certain people do certain things right and just because certain people speak up on certain things that you may or may not have done you know what I'm saying? Doesn't necessarily mean that it's one-sided unless it's a motherfucking fact. You feel what I'm saying? You sitting here complaining about somebody, allegedly complaining about somebody exposing what may or may not have happened. And it's like, dog, we all know why you upset. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expose that. Hey, that's the million. Uh, uh, hey, everybody's seen what happened. You feel what I'm saying? So... It was no way, you know, and it's like, dog, when you put certain things on display, you can't really get mad at, at people for, you know, having an opinion. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about some, oh, it's one-sided and it's not fair. And of course, you're going to get a certain reaction out of me. Like, what, what do you mean? It's one-sided, it's not fair. That just sounds like somebody who is mad that the information was leaked and they can't do nothing to take this shit back. Tell her, hey, correct me if I'm fucking wrong. I can take a joke. I got a great sense of humor. So, like, I don't really let that shit get to me. I don't let, like, that's how it is in the world. But literally, I just feel like it should be even. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think, I don't think any artist should be held back from expressing how they feel. If you don't let it get to you, then you wouldn't even have made that motherfucking comment, dog. So, like, I don't really let that shit get to me. I don't let...